Hello everyone, and welcome back to the uh, blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, in the off time, I have been grinding a bit and doing skirmishes and stuff. So you can see in the top right, I have a lot of money, uh, which means I also got a lot of XP in turn. So I figured I'd just show you where I'm at right now in terms of XP. So yeah, I got uh, <laughs> everyone except Lancers uh, are max level. The only reason I didn't grind for Lancer max level is because I'm going to be doing story missions and they're going to be giving me XP. So I figured, hey, might as well use them in at least one class instead of having it just kind of be wasted there. I mean, of course I can use it to go here and buy orders, but that's only once per chapter and chance made. Uh, and I also did the other skirmishes that I hadn't previously done. So I've equipped uh, Welkin with a, a car 8 now. Uh, I got her a car 9 by doing the engineer challenge, but I only did it once because I just wanted to do it once. Because I wanted to get her this while also finishing every single one. So now all my scouts are equipped with car 8s, and I have like 13 of them. Uh, 15 of them now. Uh, Rosie has the MPX-3 from the Shock Trooper Challenge, which you can only get one of. Uh, and not that I would do it multiple times, because that one was a bitch to do. Uh, Largo is now using the PLX-3, which uh, is from the Lancer Challenge, I believe. So, um, I'm trying to remember what you get from the Tank Challenge. It may actually be this. Uh, I'm not sure. But I'm using this because uh, it's very accurate and has a good range as opposed to... And it's only losing a little bit of damage per armor. And I'm never going to use it against a person. So it has more range and better aim, which is good because Lancers are inaccurate as hell. Uh, my, both of my uh, engineers have the Car 8. Uh, I gave Oscar an anti-tank sniper rifle, which is awesome. <laughs> Like, it can one-shot medium tanks if you hit it in its weak point, and three-shot them if you shoot them from the front. Or maybe not three-shot them, but it does, like, 450 damage to a tank from the front. Uh, and then these guys just have the SG-7s, which are the really good snipers. Uh, and because I have, like, uh, put most of them all up, now these people all have uh, all their... Uh, class potentials so enemy attacks occasionally deal no damage which is amazing and they both have it uh, these guys because I'm a, I haven't maxed their class yet they don't have it but uh yeah these are all pretty good um, they have a set chance of returning life for full HP when the HP reaches zero which isn't bad um, I still don't use uh, them a lot uh, shock troopers, but it's nice to just have them maxed out because they they took so much XP to get to max level. <laughs> um, and then I I'm not gonna show you the R and D, but I have bought everything <laughs> because I have it. There's nothing to buy on Castle Front, uh, and I don't believe there's any more things in the audience hall. I'll check right now because if there's not, I believe it just boots you out, and loading doesn't take a long time. Welcome. See you alive and well. Yeah, so it just bo it boots you out if you don't have any things. It just checks to see whether or not you actually got a summons. And if you didn't, it boots you out. So I'm not sure uh, how many hours I was on like the last. So it's probably about like yeah, I've I've done quite a bit of grinding. Uh, so let's let's do this. Let's start chapter twelve and hopefully just do really good. Let's begin the strategy meeting. First off, I need to ask. Lieutenant, how is Squad 7's morale? It's been three weeks since we lost Isara. We're all still in shock, Captain. Personally, it still doesn't seem real to me. I can't believe she's really gone. I see. Nevertheless, you have new orders. I sent in a request to General Damon to allow this op, and received full clearance. The Galleon Militia's next task is to liberate a small border town called Brule. 
The regiment will surround the area while your squad enters and secures the plaza. Any questions, Lieutenant? No, Captain. I'm taking temporary personal leave, but I wish you the best of luck out there. Also, I'd like to introduce the new tank pilot assigned to the Edelweiss. I'll do the best I can, Welkin. Kreese! He recently volunteered to be a pilot. I'm hereby assigning him to Squad 7. Isara inherited the Edelweiss from her father. I'd like to take over where she left off. I'm still nowhere near as skilled as she was, but I'll do my very best. Thank you, Chris. That concludes our meeting. I look forward to good news from Poole. Dismissed. I wonder if uh, that... Uh, the lieutenant asked for permission and, uh, to go to Brul and liberate it because she knew that it was like such a special place to welcome. And he was like, it'll give him closure and it'll be better for it afterwards. I hope it is because she seems like a nice lady. Bowson was lost and Gregor with it in a warrior's death. What comes next, Maximilian? Things aren't looking very good these days. The Empire claimed the earliest victories, and most of Gallia with them. Their struggles since have bested the detachments holding each location. Meaning, we reconcentrate our forces? Yes. Send word to gather our armies on the Nagyar Plain. Silvaria, the time has come to show these wolves your power. Sir, by my Valkyrian blood, I swear the Gallian forces will bow before you. <laughs> I believe it. They won't last long once you get serious. And that's good news for me and the prospects for Theralds reinstatement. Once we conquer Gallia, you shall have independence for your homeland, Jaeger. But until then, you have no country of your own. You shall serve us with your very life. I'm well aware, Your Grace. The fate of the Empire is no concern of mine. But Maximilian, you will be victorious. That's the only reason I'm fighting this war. Oh yeah? Well, based on the intro, I remember saying how uh, Gallia just destroys you. So, uh, go fuck off. <laughs> I have plot armor. <laughs> We're back where it all started it's been five months since we left Brule. Fuck, only five months <laughs> now all but one of us is back to make this home again captain Verat said she specifically requested this operation from general damon she said that yes you know how she feels about him but she begged him to give us Brule. She wanted us to remember why we're fighting. To help us get past Isara's death. For right now, let's stop thinking and just move forward. Let's take back our... Take back Isara's home. Let's do it. Return to the temple. Back again. I had to return one more time. But the area we saw last time, no matter what I try, the door won't open anymore. What was written on those walls turns all of Europa's history on its head. It's staggering. It began, Welcome, Sister Valkyria. Did they hide the truth from all but their own? The door won't let me in. Given what's on the walls, maybe it opens only for the Valkyrie. Maximilian got through, but he had Selvaria with him. She must have opened it for him. Wait. The door was closed when we first arrived.
It's not. Chances of her. No. There's no other explanation. She. What should I do? So they're definitely insinuating slash, slash putting as fact that Alicia is a Valkyrie. Okay. So I did save, right? That wasn't me accidentally hitting B. It's hard for me to tell sometimes. Because it doesn't give me like a audio cue saying, you have done this. It's just like, oh yeah. Let's exit you out of the save. Okay, the enemy is entrenched in an offensive formation throughout Central Brule and the Windmill Plaza. Okay. The squad server entered from this location and cut a path into the town center. I think I remember this. Now your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Except the fighting along the main street to be ex expect the fighting along the main street to be exceptionally fierce. We also have information suggesting that they've placed snipers at various key points across the town. Even if you don't see anyone in the immediate area, you may still be open to sniper fire. Be careful where you stop. Okay, wow, ten people. Okay, so we got our two tanks. So let's, let's put Claudia there. And have Alicia go there. Go there. Gotta have Rosie and Largo for extra moves. And then Debating whether I want to put, because chances are there will be tanks, and maybe I can show off. All right. Uh, uh, show off the sniper rifle, because it is really cool, and the hitboxes in this game. We're taking back our homies. Squad seven, move out. Uh, because the hitboxes in this game are kind of janky, so sometimes you can hit the weak spot in a tank. Even when you totally shouldn't be able to hit the weak spot. Phew. Here we are. Sorry, but I'm a little scared. That's right. This is your first time out in battle, isn't it? Please. Combat is always a scary thing. I don't think anyone should ever forget that. I feel like getting used to the horror of war means losing hope. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay, then. Let's begin. Everybody, watch out for enemy snipers. Okay, so we got a lot of... Okay, so we do have a tank, some artillery. Uh, mash the hunter. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Enemy sighted! He's there. Oh, there's a sniper there. Didn't even notice it. Um, I'm gonna push up that advice. I'm not gonna destroy them. them out. Yeah. Okay. So. 
Sniper. Oh, he's over there. Wait, where is he? Where the? Oh, <laughs> up on top of the building. Don't even think of dodging. Okay. Okay. Good. I thought I was only gonna be shooting the wall. Okay. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Let me get back here. Okay. And now I'm gonna take. This sniper. I'm gonna take Marina. Hopefully. Oh, god damn it. She has a pawn allergy. Didn't realize that. Uh, so it means I can't see the circle. But. Okay. Sweet dreams. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Okay. Just to be safe, I'm gonna save. Cause I, I, I've learned that, and I've decided that instead of failing and then cutting to go away and be like, oh, okay, like I'm just gonna end here because, uh, or not end here, but I'm going to, uh, like s speed forward or whatnot is just dumb. Like, I'll just wait. Like, I'll just save. Okay. Okay. Go down here. Fortunately, she's only gonna have, like, one shot. And he's more or less just for a move, because I'm not too worried about it. Um... Okay, so he can... On a move now. Okay. You can see, like, it says it takes five shots. So I'm hoping maybe I can... Nah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to cheese out a one-shot kill. Try and move him over like here ish. And I'll definitely try and get a uh, get Alicia around to get get the point next time. Um, so let's move Oscar one more time. I see an enemy. And shoot over the hump. try and do anything with Largo, because chances are he'll just be sniped. Um, I'm gonna move Carl up, because I wanna have someone close to heal the other vice. In case something happens. Come in. I repeat, come in. Try to approach 
Expecting to actually take him out. But I'm glad I did. And I want to not be uh, hittable by, <laughs> by any snipers. Um, so I should probably try and conserve her movement. But what I will do is I'm going to move. Because Nancy is a scout and has insane amounts of movement. And I don't want Alicia going uh, into the uh, end camp portion of love. So. Okay. And it's gotten to the point where might as well just aim for the body if I'm going to be killing them anyway. Okay. Just um leave it to me. Okay. Took out that sniper. Yippee! I'm impressed, but not surprised. So there's no one there. What I am going to do is I'm going to actually wait. I'm going to wait for next turn because they'll probably call in reinforcements. Wasting their movement. And then I'm going to... Um, oh, damn. If I had known... No, it's too late to back out now. Because I'm going to capture this one, and there's a tower right here. If I, if I had realized that earlier, I would have just uh, gone up in it. Okay. So I'm going to actually end it there, because no point in wasting any more moves. Okay. I, thought, I was hoping they would request reinforcements at the uh, other base. Take him out. So that's a heavy AT cannon. Okay, so heavy AT cannons are just those. We're gonna end there. And have Carl come up and heal him. to claim the midway camp roger that let's use it as a foothold to push into enemy territory their defenses are only going to get tighter i need you to stay sharp crease yes sir as sharp as i can Damn it, it's the camp. don't get him down fire back let me be able to hit him from here 
Probably not. Damn it. She's probably gonna get taken out. Um Oh God. Oh, how I wish I could push these guys up far there. Okay. So that's I can just the town's a mess. Can't call in any more reinforcements. Um Okay. I'll try my best. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna have her retreat. Here, I'm going to call in uh, Cesare. God damn it. There's so many mines around. Um, I need to take out that sniper. Oh, God damn it. Seriously? Trees block my th stuff? saved in a while, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit him right in the gut. And now she has one shot. Take out the shock trooper. Ah, oh, takes two shots. This isn't fair. 
is... I believe they immediately die if an enemy basically does what I did to them. Like, when you walk up to, uh... When you walk up to, like, an enemy body, they disappear. I believe if an enemy does that to me, my character just dies. Which is not good. And if that happens, I will probably restart. Because I want to have this be a, uh, a deathless run. By deathless, I mean permadeathless. Not, like, temporary outage deathless. Hoping he would take out the trooper. Fuck. That does a lot of damage. To be expected, but. Minor damage oh god. I yeah, hope they don't fire again. Doesn't look like they will. Oh, bullshit. Probably gonna take out Carl. Yep, great. That's fucking terrible. Okay. No. So I gotta restart. That allows me to do stuff a little bit differently. Uh, load. It's uh, unfortunate. Okay. So we're here. It's actually really nice. So. He's done. I haven't moved Carl up yet. And I have to figure out what I was doing. So. Oscar isn't really going to be useful. Because I used like four moves with him and didn't get anywhere. So I'm going to retreat. took out who? Because I believe I used Marina to take out this sniper. It's time to claim your home with your own so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Fucking bitch. There's so many mines. Like Fucking town? everywhere. Should be able to occupy that camp. Um, actually going to pull him, pull her back. We'll probably have her retreat next turn. Okay. So I'm gonna save right now because I've taken, I think, a pretty optimal uh, turns. So now I'm going to. 
occupy. Okay, yeah, got managed to get in. Camp occupation confirmed. Let's um, it up. Let's climb. There's a turbo. Okay, so this position is supposed to be like the anti those sniper positions. God, from here you can't even see them. I was hoping, I was hoping that I'd be able to uh, shoot a grenade, like, over. But unfortunately, it does not seem like I'll be able to reach. Might as well try, because I have this turn. Nope, okay, cool. No, I do not want to end current action. I want to descend to be out of danger from those guys. <clears throat> okay. So, now I will... I'm going to end turn here and save the CP. I, this is already going better. I can feel it. Okay, so, okay, so they're requesting right there. Minor damage sustained. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Damage minimal. Dumb. I should, probably should have used that CP to um, request support last turn. I'm, I'm dumb. I did not make an optimal turn of that. Um, okay, so let's go forward. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Take out him. Target silent. Head to the next one. Enemy sighted. And leave him there. I might actually use two turns with Carl to get him to full health. That, that won't slow me down. both my turns now, but um, my turn, okay. send Alicia up through there, the center. Sometimes the distance damage. That. There's a So let's do that. Um, oh, seriously, it doesn't even. Okay. Hit, okay? Good. 
Okay. So that's good. Um, I don't want to move her over because those snipers will definitely be able to get her. Um, but I do want to take out uh, this one. While also not putting her in danger. But... Um, I'm gonna use her anyway. Because the less things that can kill my tank, the better. So now. I'm hide behind this car. That way I can end turn with her and heal up. And Cesare's coming next turn to go up here and take out the snipers over there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up. Uh, turning takes so much. I'm not too worried about the Lancer because if he runs up and tries to get behind, um, so that's that much. Don't even know how many you need. Because okay, that thing is the only thing that can really do a lot of damage to my tank, other than the Lancer. But if the Lancer comes up, the intercept fire will definitely kill him because. Car 8s are pretty damn good, but I will turn the tank to face at him a little bit more. That way, if there's like a little bit of strayness, he's not going to be able to just like get a lucky pot shot at my rear. And I'm going to actually heal. I'm not going to be able to kill him. Um, but I can at least help. A little bit of damage is always good. Um, what I will do is I'm going to put him here. If the Lancer gets out, he might be able to just shoot him from range. I don't believe he's in danger from the snipers. Because the I mean, it says yellow, but the tank is immediately in its way. If it gets taken out, then that's absolute bullshit. But, uh, so let's save on a different save file. And end there. Okay. because the tank is facing a different way, that my tank just doesn't shoot him. Even though, I guarantee, enemy tanks would totally be able to shoot him. Like, there? I would get decimated there by enemy tanks. Luckily, Carl is very well equipped. Really? God damn... Lancers are never that accurate. <laughs> they are never that accurate. Although that may have been an anti-personnel tank, uh, Lancer. Okay. So now that I have... Anti-sniper sniper. Fortunately, there's nothing to, like, give a sniper more ammo. It's acrophobic, but... It doesn't... Really? It takes fucking two shots to get rid of that one? Okay, one shot to get rid of this one. So See what you get? 
So, I wish I could use them to take out those other guys, but they're going to have to wait. Because I need to take out the snipers because they're uh, the most dangerous, and I wouldn't be able to take that guy out in two shots. So I might as well. This one is only one now because the acrophobic didn't proc. See what you get? Okay. You're doing well. Just keep it up. And Okay. And there's the last sniper that is in range of my sniper, so I might as well just try and kill him. Or at least do damage to him. Okay, so they're both two shots. Um, but this this guy definitely just inherently has more damage potential. Sit him there. Pop him a squat. Damage drop off. Damage drop off is so brutal in this game. Think you can stop me? Okay, and I resist crossfire from whatever direction. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to run up. Ouch. And because I just need to occupy, the rest of this is all just for XP for the most part. Okay, good. I thought for a sec you weren't going to kill him. Okay. And I know I don't need XP, but... It just feels good to kill people in this game, and because they're all assholes. And, while you're at it, mine as well, because, you know, it makes you feel justified, because these guys took over your town, killed innocents. Um, okay, so, hey, buddy. Uh, wow, five shots just in general. I'm glad that this gun has seven shots and is really powerful. Yeah, boom. Occupied, bitch. Get wrecked. Five months have made me amazing. Sir, we've done it. We've occupied the enemy's primary base. Great. That's excellent. Grease, I'm proud of you. Sir, I still can't hold a candle to Isara, but I did what I could. It's ours, Ease. Home is finally home again. Edelweiss is alive and well and in good hands. You can rest easy. Oh, wow. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing A rank is like two turns, because I got B in three. So I'm guessing the stress on that one is to just have like... Like two or three scouts just go up and just clear out like whoever. Ooh, that might be useful. Awesome. Not the sniper. The sniper won't be useful at all. Because I don't need it. Uh, I... Ever since, uh... Ever since that crash, uh, in, like, the first, like, two episodes or whatnot, where it just exited the game once I tried to leave headquarters after doing all that stuff, now I save before going into headquarters. So let's do training field. Just to use the 54,000. Actually, I, I'm not going to... I'm going to level him up. 
but I'm not going to use all of the XP. I'm going to leave like 20,000 uh, not used. Uh, because the order takes XP. And that'll be uh, the order I want to learn like next chapter. Um, I mean, I can check right now. Because I believe I've already done it. For this chapter. During the grinding. I'm sorry, but yeah. I hope we'll meet. Yeah. Still don't like you, dude. Still don't like you. But let's go to the R&D facility because they gave me a block or something. Well um, okay. But it's pretty nice because now I can just buy every single one. <laughs> Fortunate. Oh, so they've finally gotten into seven shots at this point. But still not holding a candle to the DLC weapons, because, like, look. The one I have right now, equipped to Alicia, does, like, a 105 person damage. It's not even a, uh... It's not even a competition. And now, because I have so much money, uh, I just buy everything. Because why not? Like, there's nothing holding me back. Not a lot of upgrades. Just going through menus. Menuing. So we're at like 52 minutes right now. So uh, I'm thinking after we finish the chapter's cutscenes, call it there because that's what we always do. And because I don't want it to be like a very, very long episode. So that's the unfortunate part about failing. You have to uh, take it. Uh, so enhanced pin block. Tread HP is 400 health. But it's a really big block. But where are my other tread health things? Yeah. So I mean, it's a, it's a good upgrade, but I mean, it's not really... I don't really use tread health things. I'm more concerned about ammo, the accuracy of my thing, and crit defense It's nice. And then just general uh, tread defense. And then the shamrock is... I still haven't been able to unlock any of the uh, things, the modules. So now let's go to the audience hall. Lieutenant, for your squad's exemplary performance. They gave me a lance. It's not bad. A car M3R got four of them. Do you give me a medal? Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, is there anything on Castle Front Street? Save so I don't have to do it again. And now back to this. Well, that's it, Welkin. No sign of the enemy here either. I searched all over. Looks like they've cleared out of Pool. That's good. We finally recovered possession of our old homestead. Yeah. But if Isara saw it as it is now, I think she'd feel sad. I mean, look at it. Empty of all the people who lived here, the mill just barely standing. Huh? Look at that! Welkin? What is it? What do you see? Look! A lion's paw. Uh, is it the same one? Mm-hmm. It's the flower that you planted that day. When we'd first met each other, it took root and grew in this soil. 
And now it's flourishing. <laughs> Remember what you said? That there's more going on in this world than just people killing people? There are new lives all around. New things being born, even in the middle of war. I was right. And if I let myself get depressed, well, Isara wouldn't want that. Once this war's over and we come home, we'll just have to rebuild it. We'll rebuild all of it. Every last building. Yes, we will. And we'll show Martha's little boy. We'll show him the town where he was born. Yeah. I completely forgot that they had a kid was born in a tank. <laughs> They're bringing back the old stuff. The liberation of Brule was a success. Excellent work, soldiers. Lieutenant Gunther, do you have anything further to report? Yes, Captain. Through this off, I... We found a new goal to strive towards. Very good. And Faldio, you're back from your leave. Feeling rested and ready? Uh, yes, Captain. I'm ready. Good. We're receiving reports of major shifts along the front lines. Imperial forces previously posted all over the country are gathering at one point. The Nagyar Plain in northeastern Gallia. Our forces are being directed there as well. Does that mean we're expecting a major clash at Nagyar, Captain? It's very probable. This battle is going to decide Galia's fate one way or another. After a brief rest, the militia move out to Nagyar. I want all of you rested in the meantime. You're dismissed. Okay. <sighs> so that's probably going to be a battle with like a, like a decent amount of tanks and soldiers everywhere. And a lot of flatlands probably. Perfect for sniping. So what you're saying is, the next battle is so critical, it could actually determine how the rest of the war goes. Yeah. Both for us and them. The opposing armies are assembling their forces at Nagyar. It'll be the biggest battle we've fought yet. The biggest battle of the war. That means more things we love will be destroyed. More people we care about will be taken away. There are some things we lose never get returned. That's the world. Everything around us is in flux. The old Brule, the town we used to know, Isara. We've lost them forever. Well, Ken. But, it's like you said, Alicia. We build new things as we lose the old. If we can win this battle at Nagyar, we can push the Empire all the way back to Northeast Gallia. If that happens, then victory will be right around the corner. Once the war's over, the real work will start. We'll build a new mill plaza. In fact, we'll build a whole new town. Right. And I'll be there to help you. You know, it's funny. Whenever I talk to you, I feel like everything's going to be fine. Yeah? Well, you're the only reason I haven't completely lost it, Alicia. Really? Thank you, Welkin. Me too. I'm glad we were able to meet and work together. Hey, Welkin? What is it? Once this war is all over, I have... There's something I want to tell you. Anything? Chapter 13, The Clash at Nagyar. See, that right there is what you call a death flag, kids. And I know, 
Like, I really wish that the squares were more blocked out, because you can look down right there at 4B, and you see that Alicia is literally in the sights of a sniper. And I'm like, well, it's not showing you're getting shot, so there's a chance it may miss. And I'm really hoping it does, but it might not as well. And that would suck. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I saved... Oh, this one. That looks pretty metal. I like that. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna call this episode to an end. And... Uh, we will... Resume this in the next episode. I am probably gonna go to the headquarters and... Uh, at least try and save Scum the order if he doesn't give it immediately. Then I'll put all that XP into Lancers afterwards. So I hope you all have a very nice day.